Back for another segment of our summer updates of the Coaches Club, and today I'm joined by the recently inducted Virginia National Hall of Fame coach, our coach, wrestling coach, Jesse Castro. How are you doing? Gabe, thanks. Thank you for having me here. I know you hate talking about yourself, but you were already inducted to the Liberty National Liberty Athletics Hall of Fame. Now you're in the National Hall of Fame. How does it feel just, you know, passing that next milestone? Well, as I've said to other people, it's not something that you aspire to when you first get into the profession, but, you know, after spending 35 years as a, as a coach, it's nice to be recognized on that level. And, you know, I've been to the National Hall of Fame in Oklahoma City and, okay. you know, and to know that my name's going to be up there uh, is it's quite an honor. You know, I got to start the interview. I feel like every time we talk, we always talk about Josh Ferenzi. Now this guy's gone. He's a, he was a great asset to the, you know, the wrestling program. We can talk all day about him, sure. but replacing him, how do, how do you replace him going into next year? I know you got guys, Taylor Westlake and Brandon Robinson that you talk about, but sure. who are some other guys that you will use to replace him? Well, re replacing uh, Josh Ferenzi is going to be very difficult, not just in terms of his wins and losses and contribution athletically to the program, but also in terms of his leadership. I mean, he was a he was a a leader not only by example, but he was also um, a leader uh, verbally too. So you know, replacing that's going to be tough. But we we do have guys that are that are going to be stepping up. Um, I'm going to be calling him our heavyweight um, uh, Johnson. Um, you know, he, he's a he's a, a tough wrestler. He's uh, you know gained the respect of of a, of a lot of guys. And you know, Dominic is a, is a leader at heart. So I'm looking for him to step up. I'm looking for, of course, Brandon Robinson, like you said, at, at 149. He's going to have to to really step up and, and, and lead this team as well. And and I, I honestly, though, I think um, probably uh, our cornerstone is going to be um, uh, uh, Taylor Taylor Westlake because he's, you know, he's um, just a, a incredibly hard worker and uh, he has the respect of the team. You've already been restarting the recruiting trail so far. You've signed guys like Blake Justice, Chad Cantrell. So what can those guys bring to the program this upcoming year that you're excited about? Well, yeah, those are, those are two of a few other ones too, but those guys are local kids, and so it's nice to, to be able to, um, to pick some of, the, some of the prime fruit from, from yeah. local wrestling here. But I, you know, I look for those guys to, to jump on board. Or they know our program. I've coached these guys since they were knee high to a grasshopper through our, um, our Virginia Gold Club wrestling club. So I know them, they know me, they know our program, they know what's expected. And I think that they're, um, from what I can gather from them, they're, they're on board. You know, they've bought into the program and they wanna, they wanna succeed. They wanna see the program succeed. So I'm, I'm really looking forward to, to guys like that and, and the other um, incomers as well. Nice, and with some of those guys returning and with the finish that you, had, you guys had this, this past season, you were runner up, you lost to Emmanuel. Is, you know, getting that revenge on Emmanuel the, the yeah. goal this year or is just, you know, one match at a time, one set at a time? Well, I've learned, <laughs> I've learned, Gabe, not to get overly excited until yeah. you actually step on the mat um, because anything can happen. I mean, we've had kids that were committed here and, and stay a day and leave just because they got homesick. So, you know, you, you never know what can happen, injuries, et cetera. Uh, so, you know, we're, we're taking one match at a time. I mean, I think we have a, a solid core group to build upon. I think that we can have a lot of success this coming year uh, building upon that. Um, but we got to put the puzzle together. I mean, they're, they're, as you well know, through whatever kind of program that you're dealing with, whatever sport, you know, things got to fall into place. And so, you know, we're going to make do and, you know, we're going to go for a national championship. Nice. And you already answered my next question. Is the goal national championship next year? What's the, just the team goals for, you know, this upcoming season? Yeah, you know, of course it is. Of course it's a national championship. But, you know, like I said, one day at a time. I mean, our, our objective right now is to get them in, get them back and, and get into our preseason training, get them in the strength training with Chris. You know, he does a terrific job for us, our strength our trainer. And, um, and then from there, start our, our, uh, our preseason tournaments, you know, in, in November. We've got a lot of wrestling to do. Our guys will get in, you know, 15, 20 matches before, before the winter time, And so... You know, we're going to take one step at a time, but uh, yeah, the goal is a national championship, and I think it's it's attainable. But we've got to we got to put things together. Right. And lastly, summertime. Do you send those guys home with workouts and stuff for them to do, or it's one of those things like you know, you know your body. If you want to win, you know the work to put in in the off season. I would say it's a little of both. By okay. the way, yes, we do send them home with a with a program, uh, and usually, Gabe, we can tell the guys that come back in the fall that are actually followed it. Okay. I mean, when they're, when they're hacking on the gar in the garbage can, when they come back and we start our preseason, you have an idea that they probably didn't do the cardio that they were right. supposed to do. 
or the strength training program as well. But for the most part, I think guys are on board and, and they're pretty motivated. They know what they have to do. And if they want to be a national champion individually as well as a team, you know, they're going to have to pay the price off season. It's, it's, um, it's inevitable. And so my hope is that they're paying that price and that they're going to come back ready to go and, um, and, and uh, try to attain that national championship. Nice. Well, thanks, Coach, for your time. We'll catch up with you, Thank you. before trials this year. For Coach Castro, I'm Gabe Henderson for LFSN signing off.